Once again, the referee in charge, Michael Ortega, now to give instructions, 12 rounds of boxing schedule. The gentleman went over the rules and won a good clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Best of luck to both of you. Touch them up. Here we go. Should be a good fight. Crossroads fight for both of these super middleweights looking to get, well, for Brewer, regain a world championship. Antoine Eccles, the current USBA middleweight champ, but looking for a world championship shot, but he's got to get by Brewer first. Brewer from the red corner, black trunks. Antoine Eccles, Kid Dynamite on the back, those white and red trunks, so to speak. That's what you want to call it. Eccles, a very fashionable uh, young fighter. Both fighters aggressive, both with power in both hands. Neither guy with a great chin. Both fighters trading jabs, center of the ring here, opening moments. Brewer will enjoy a five-inch reach advantage, two-inch height advantage. Let's see if he can use that to his advantage. Brewer throwing that left jab early and often here. Not scoring yet, though. These are two veteran fighters. Brewer, 31 years old. Eccles, 28 years old. So they've been around a little bit. Eccles trying to a double up there. Eccles backing up Brewer against the ropes. Both fighters exchanging. Eccles throwing again. Brewer doing a nice job blocking all those shots. Those get through, though. Nice combination by Eccles. Brewer comes back with a left and misses. Eccles did a nice job getting through with a left and a right. Good right hand there by Brewer. You might be able to see Eccles uh, with all kinds of a tattoos on his back. Good combination there by Eccles. Brewer comes right back with a left and a right. Good body punch by Brewer. Right hand of the body. Both fighters missing. Eccles trying to work behind that jab. Brewer comes back with his own left jab. Eccles, another uh, attempted body punch, a little bit low. Brewer misses, comes up a little bit short. Misses again. Eccles, a nice job stepping back and slipping those punches. Brewer wants to use that five-inch reach advantage. He's throwing that jab out there, but he might want to throw it a little more often. Steps in with a right hand there that's blocked. Sort of grazes the back of the head. Good combination by both fighters scoring there. Eccles a left and a right. Brewer left hand that scores. Good action here in the first round. I think. Yeah, okay. Keep your hands up high. Don't drop too. Keep your hands high. You're not as strong as I tell you. Okay. Okay. Keep your hand straight hatching. Okay. Don't be flat footed. I'm watching you with it. Throw in the feint every now and then. When he's looking for your jab, throw the feint. Throw the feint. Double feint. Stay in control. Nice four or five punch combinations, okay? Whatever you can. One in the books is schedule for 12. Dan and Mike Birmingham with some advice for Antoine Eccles. Stay on your toes. A little action here from the end of the round, probably the best action of the first round. Both fighters throwing and scoring. Here we go, round two. Eccles opening up now, trying to uh, get inside and score with a jab. Brewer, double left.
left jab. Eccles with a right hand. Backs Brewer up. Ton of experience between these two fighters. 60 wins between the two. Eccles moving in and throwing and then catches a left hand. A little bit off balance there. Brewer, big right hand drops Eccles. Eccles complaining, but I'm not sure what he's complaining about. Brewer can finish. He knows how to do it. Great action here in the second. Brewer doubling up the left, backing Eccles up. Eccles clearly hurt. Referee about to step in, taking a close look. Michael Ortega, you had the feeling he was going to step in there. Big left hand, and that's going to be it. He's going to count him. He might let it go. But Eccles clearly shaken up. Caught a tremendous amount of punishment. Better keep a close eye here because Brewer all over this guy. Eccles now catching the body punches. Warning back of the head. He's letting it go. Brewer with a minute left here in the second round. All over Antoine Eccles who's getting pummeled. Now Brewer throwing punches wildly, scoring the left and right. Another left hand, Ortega again, about to step in. Nope, not yet, you wonder why. Brewer throwing some bombs, wild with some of them, but some of them are getting through. Left hand and a right hand. Eccles doing what he can to stand up. And again, you wonder what the referee is doing here as Antoine Eccles is getting absolutely beaten up. Trying to end it here, 15 seconds. Somehow, Antoine Eccles is standing up, but he is taking a tremendous beating. Big uppercut, left hand, Eccles down again. And if he gets up and continues, he might get saved by the bell, but it'll be a minor miracle if he continues. I mean, what's the point? That's about as lopsided around as you'll ever see. Wow. Now you know why they call Charles Brewer the hatchet. look now again at the uh, damage dished out by Charles Brewer. I'm not sure there if Eccles might have twisted his ankle then he gets dropped with a right hand. Big blow with the uh, right hand earlier then comes back with a left hand. There's the second knockdown. Oh and another brutal punch following up double right hand by Brewer drops Eccles and somehow Antoine Eccles, 28-year-old kid, is hanging in there. Again, what's the point? Brewer comes out firing, punching, and scoring. Eccles doing his best to try to stay on his toes and stay out of trouble, but Brewer's a veteran. He knows how to cut off the ring. He knows how to finish. Eccles throwing, lands a shot. Now all of a sudden, Eccles in charge. 
and he lands a big shot. Brewer about to go down again. Brewer hanging on for dear life. Amazing turnaround here in the third. Now it's Eccles coming back and firing and scoring, and Ortega's going to stop the fight. Antoine Eccles with a tremendous turnaround as the mouthpiece goes flying into the first row here. And the Brewer camp is absolutely furious. Ortega wouldn't stop it in the second when Brewer nearly killed Eccles. Eccles comes back, and Ortega, quick with the whistle, stops the fight. Wow. Michael Ortega under tremendous, tremendous speculation here. What is he doing? But give credit to Antoine Eccles for surviving the second and early parts of the third. Comes back, stuns Brewer, knocks him down. But you gotta wonder how the referee can stop the fight at that point when in the previous round, Brewer nearly killed Eccles. Wow. We've seen some uh, wild finishes in boxing, but uh, that one's gotta be right up there. Poor Charles Brewer standing right above us. Absolutely furious, and he has a right to be. He just can't believe it. And at 31 years old, and with seven losses already, this is uh, not the kind of loss that uh, he wants to, uh, that he can afford to absorb. Eccles here teeing off on Brewer, big right hand, and then Ortega throws him off, and, and look at Eccles, flat on his face in the middle of the ring. Of course, that was not a knockdown, that was the uh, referee throwdown. And then Eccles back again with a wild right hand that stuns Brewer. This was a uh, basic bedlam. But who can figure out the uh, the thinking of a referee, Michael Ortega of Hamden, Connecticut? Stopping the fight at that point? You've got to be kidding me. But a terrific turnaround and a dramatic win for Antoine Eccles, sure to be uh, moved up in the IBF ratings coming in seventh get moved up a little bit and of course Brewers camp irate at the turn of events here and uh, certainly questionable refereeing by Michael Ortega and even some of the uh, crowd at ringside here uh, just watching in uh, total disbelief Here's Jimmy Lennon. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, 21 seconds in round number three. Our referee in charge, Michael Ortega, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout and the new NABA super middleweight champion, Kid Dynamite, Antoine Eccles. Well, you've got to be happy for Eccles. I mean, he's pretty much done in the second round surviving on fumes you wondered even why his corner would send him out for the third round they did and it turns out he's the new naba super middleweight champ